However, the liquid copper then started bubbling and spitting out molten metal, which wasn't super safe. So I shut the lid, and a few minutes later, it was looking a lot better. At this point though, it's still all just copper, and the magic only happens when I add some extra ingredients. The first is some aluminum, and it all quickly melts. I'll then scoop off some slag from the surface, and the next thing to add is some zinc metal. I'll then mix it around a bit to make sure all the zinc has dissolved. Now it's time to add the last ingredient, which is just a small amount of tin metal. This isn't nearly as reactive as the zinc, and I'll close the lid and let it cook for a bit. 